Hi and welcome here again from Mobile World Congress 2019. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is called MRTV. So, Mobile World Congress is coming to an end and it's time for a little conclusion here on the channel. And by the way, this is a 3D video. So you can simply put on your VR headset and see me in 3D if you would like to do so. So, as for my conclusion, for me, definitely my personal winner of this Mobile World Congress was Microsoft with unveiling the HoloLens 2. Even though this whole, this whole uh, uh, Congress actually was about 5G, 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 without a doubt, 5G is the big topic. But for us XR fans, we know that a big revolution is coming, a big revolution and uh, this revolution is actually a paradigm shift for computing and that is spatial computing and in my opinion Microsoft has made a big case for itself to be at the helm of this revolution. The HoloLens 2 simply is such a big improvement over the HoloLens 1 and even as compared to the pretty new Magic Leap 1 that I would say so that indeed Microsoft is at the helm of this new revolution in spatial computing. The device itself, very sleek, very, very comfortable, indeed much more comfortable as the first headset and also as in how you can interact now with the holograms, a big, big improvement over the first HoloLens. So now we have full, full hand tracking and this hand tracking helps you to interact with this, uh, yeah, augmented reality with this virtual virtual holograms that are being projected into your field of view and you can simply yeah simply take them with your hands interact with them push buttons just like you would normally push buttons and this is simply amazing and um, very intuitive at the same time so for me when i was trying this i was without a doubt i was definitely surprised at how well that works and how well Microsoft um, yeah, was able to build this device in order to, to make this interactivity come true. So definitely, in my opinion, the HoloLens 2, the big winner of this uh, Mobile World Congress 2019. However, as I mentioned, 5G is such a big topic. In, no matter to which of the halls you go to, everywhere you'll find 5G, 5G, 5G. So without a doubt, a big topic is 5G and also th this also has to do something with uh, VR and how we get our content in the future. So I saw different booths where actually 5G, where content was streamed over 5G to devices and on the Vive stand actually. At HTC Vive there was uh, one demo where they would let people play super hot but now Superhot was streamed via an Edge server over a 5G network that they set up here. And uh, yeah, it was simply streamed to the, uh, a Vive Focus Plus. And uh, yeah, that is pretty, pretty awesome to show that this actually works now already. The demo itself, it was still a bit laggy, but uh, I, I also talked with um, Alvin Graylin the the, the 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 leader of the HTC Vive China team and he told me that well we are in the very very early phase of 5G networks and here are also so many 5G networks locally put up so therefore the lag happened and he told me they will be able to do this completely lag free so that was definitely interesting and then here at the, the Qualcomm stand also they again showed their um, a headset, a reference model, and also here the content was streamed via 5G. So in the very in the very near future, in the very foreseeable future, we're going to get our games, our VR content streamed onto, uh, we're going to get it streamed onto our devices via a 5G connection. So yeah, Steam VR is going to run through the cloud or whatever, whatever store you you get your vr content from so definitely that's the big thing to take away here from mobile world congress 2019 then i also saw the vario the vario headset the 
the business headset with this incredible high resolution and I was able to try it out for the first time. Very fascinating and I believe we're going to hear lots of lots of more things from Vario. This focus display in a uh, uh, context display making the point where you look at extremely sharp, very lifelike and that is without a doubt something to look out for in the future as well. VR as lifelike as possible and um, there was a pretty incredible demo that I got there from Nico, the CEO of Vario. It has been an amazing Mobile World Congress. For, for me, it was my first Mobile World Congress that I covered as what uh, AR and VR is concerned. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I came here. And of course, I would be very, very happy if you, if it was also interesting for you to, to follow my coverage here from the Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. If yes, if you enjoyed this, why don't you give this a thumbs up? And of course, why don't you subscribe to this channel? I will keep on doing what I'm doing here and yeah, keep you updated on all the things VR and AR. And that's it for me. That's it for me from this Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.